the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, man, God bless you. Hey, we had a great study today. I think it's every time we get to have a forum and, and get into the Word of God, I do believe it's great. I believe in the leading of the Holy Spirit. And I think the fact is, it's all about uh, being open and, 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 and frank in discussions about the scriptures and, and learning and analyzing those scriptures line upon line and precept upon precept. Yeah, we can't cover everything in one session, and we're not meant to do that. We need to highlight an area and i guarantee you that every area any other areas in the scriptures especially in the teaching of christ is to to make sure to remind ourselves that we line up with the scriptures and the teaching of christ christ said in john 14 6 i'm the way the truth and the life no one comes to the father but by him and because of that that's why it's more important for us to to not only point the way but to also go the way and recognizing that eternal life is following Christ uh, for those who want to receive Christ. Yes, those of you who don't want to believe in Christ or don't want to receive salvation from our perspective, that's your choice and we respect that choice. I want you to always know that. You have a right. You should. God gave you the right to choose. For believers, you made a choice that Christ is Lord, so let Christ be Lord in your life. And meaning Lord mean is instead of doing it your way, uh, you doing it his way. And so we want to be able to talk about the different uh, atrocities and, 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 and what's going on during the day, you know, modern time, and address it and say, how do things line up with the word of God? And that's what we want to talk about today. And one of the things is I'll show you, this is the title that I'm using uh, for today. Uh, I'm going to change the uh, cover. <laughs> uh, I just used the, one of my cover from last week to, to put up there to, to start this session off. Then I just take one of my uh, pictures for the day to uh, cover the scriptures. But the title, is talking about what fellowship has Christ with Belial. Belial. Belial is what represents the evil one, the devil, and so forth. What fellowship has it? Or love with hate. What fellowship, what compatibleness, compatibility does love have with hate? Or Christ have with the devil? None. And that's what we're trying to tell you. So we're trying to address in asking these questions is why would you use hate, discrimination, uh, murder, adultery, and all those things to and say that it's okay because it lines up with God. It has no compatibility. I hope that you start talking to the people in the medical profession and sit there and those people that are sitting there doing things that cause uh, people from different ethnic groups to die in, in, in procedures or in birth, uh, that ain't right. So talk to them. Let them know your eternal life is on the line while you're sitting there doing something that you think lines up with God's will, but murder does not line up with God's will. Not doing the best that you can just, and, and, and or doing the less that you can is not lining up with God's will. But the whole point I just want to sit there and say is that we're not supposed to uh, do things that's not compatible with the teaching of Christ. And, and that's what I think we need to ensure people do that, is to do the thing that's compatible with the teaching and encourage other people to do what's compatible with the teaching. And, and not to hurt people or put people down, but to love one another, amen? All right, so I think you're gonna enjoy this session. I guarantee you will. And I've even used some AI. <laughs> My son gave me something little with AI, and I used that to put some scriptures down, and it gave some interesting comments 
or synopsis of those scriptures that I want to share with you. And I think we can continue to use those to, to get that non-biased to at least less least bias bias uh, perspective of the scriptures. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you in here. And don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give comments when you can and understand that Yeshua, Jesus, Yeshua is the Hebrew name for Jesus in the English translation or transliterations. So uh, I hope you enjoy the study and, and I hope you come back again and we'll continue to just put the word out from my understanding and from what the scriptures say. The key to it is the whole purpose of using the slides is to show what the scriptures say. And I'll ask you to do is follow the scriptures. That's what you need to do. And that's what I believe is right. Amen. All right. And don't forget to subscribe. And now let's go ahead into our discussion that we had this Sunday. I'll check you when I see you later. Amen. Hope you enjoy. Bye-bye. All right. And then also for you all, too, I'm going to go ahead and do uh, an introduction uh, for the videos and maybe a closing session, too. But the, the point is that I appreciate those who listen or will listen <laughs> and will continue to uh, just start. Let's be an open. Let's be honest. Let's compare the scriptures with what's going on um, today. And, and I do like the, let's, let's, I'm mean, interested in some of that uh, technology where the AI takes a look at the scripture and then give their, get get this synopsis of it uh, but the main thing is the scripture itself and whether it's the ai or whether it's you or me uh summarized and giving our opinion or outlook of what that scripture is saying uh, we need to study to show ourselves approved unto god and and, and and get into the word of god uh, and to test the spirit by the spirit meaning if you've been somebody else is trying to teach you something make sure you check the scriptures out for yourself and if even if your own if you have your own position your own thinking and thoughts that you want to sit there and, and to justify bad behavior you need to say does my behavior does my practices line up with his will and that's what we want to work on if it's contrary to his will, you know, then we need to change our practices, our behavior, and revert back to what he wants us to do. And that's all he's trying to tell us. And that's all I'm trying to tell you. It's just, let's, let's live according to the scriptures. Let's learn to love one another according to the scriptures. You know, there is no justification for the history of the church. When, it, when I'm talking ministries that did the bad things from the Crusades, Spanish Inquisition, slave trade, and uh, Jim Crow laws, lynching, and all that stuff, modern day killing. There's no justification for that. There's no justification to sit there and, and or authority to label anybody less than a fellow human being. And we all know that. I'm encouraging you to teach your children to do it Christ's way. I understand you sit there, some of you want to sit there and ban books and everything else. Uh, you, you want to do that, that's fine. But my point is, what are you teaching your children? What are you saying to your children? Are you teaching your children that yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves you. Yes, Jesus forgives you. Yes, Jesus wants me to forgive you. Are you teaching them that the value of life, regardless of the color of skin or where they came from. Are you teaching to bear the fruits of the Spirit, which is found in Galatians 5, 22 and 23, and the fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such, there's a law. Are you teaching them that? Or are you teaching them to fear somebody else, to hate somebody else, to belittle somebody else? What are you teaching people? Are you teaching selfishness or are you teaching love? Are you teaching eternal life or are you teaching eternal death? 
That's the thing we're trying to say. So as we go through these scriptures, as we go through these sessions, we want to sit there and keep pointing back toward the scriptures, be pointing back toward the way. You, there's, Christ said in John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No one comes to the Father but by Him. Not by you. I mean, if, if, you, if you have no eternal life objective for yourself or for your children, then just all I'm asking you to do is at least stop calling yourself a Christian. If you're going to show hate, if you're going to show division, stop calling yourself a Christian. And then let people see who you are. Stop lying about who you are. Just be who you are. At least we can, at least we can respect you for you if you're a hater uh, or whatever. Be who you are, but stop trying to take an identity of something that you're not. Because people can see it. And all that hate and all that discrimination, all that stuff, People can see it, you know? And matter of fact, I have one script I wanted, and I'll close with this one for you on live. I was looking at, uh, I was looking to find a couple of scriptures that goes with it, but this one will do for right now. And the fact is that in James chapter three, verse 11, does a fountain set forth at the same place sweet water and bitter water? And the answer is no. You, 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 and I think verse 12 says, Can a fig tree, my brethren, bear olive berries, either a vine, figs? So can no fountain both yield salt water and fresh water. And so when we mix these items together, when we mix hate, when we mix division, when we mix selfishness, when we commit murder, we, we you know, I'm talking about murder, you're either trying to murder the person physically or you're trying to murder their personality, their identity, their credibility. When you sit there and, and, and just do bad things to people, when you stop loving people and think it's more important to be selfish and, 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 and have your stuff, when you do that, just understand you still got to get account to God. You still need to see if he knows you. Right? In the end, right? You don't want to get caught up in this situation where he's going to say, Professor, I never knew you. Because that's what's important, right? Does he know you? Does he recognize you? Are you following his teaching? Because if you're not following his teaching, but you're following other people's teaching, you... I'm, what's the game? What's your end game? Is your end game to, to acquire and be just like the rich man and Lazarus? The rich man had was comforted during his lifetime and then found himself in hell, tormented, because Lazarus, who was tormented during his lifetime, now is comforted while you are tormented. And your children, and you're teaching all that stuff. Uh, I, th I, think it's, I think it's an issue that you need to reconcile for yourself. All of us. I got things I want to work on. But I ain't got time to sit there and, and, and hurt somebody else and discriminate against somebody else. And then we didn't talk about this race. And let's talk about people discriminating people just because this, you know, there's, there's even um, people of the same ethnic group discriminating against, against one another. All to be recognized and pleasing of another group of people. So they say, I have arrived, but I hate these other people. So do what you can to them. You know, what is one of the scriptures I want to read real quick and get out and close out with you. And he said in Deuteronomy 8, 17, and thou say in thy heart, my power and the might of my hands has gotten me this wealth. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God. 
For it is he that giveth thee the power to get the wealth, that he may establish his covenant, which he swear unto thy fathers as it is this day. And it shall be, if thou do not, if thou do at all forget, at all forget the Lord thy God, and walk after other gods, and serve them, and worship them, I testify against you this day that you shall surely perish. John 14, 6, what I quoted throughout this study session, Jesus said, Yeshua, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. <laughs> Jeremiah 17, 5. Thus saith the Lord, curse, listen now, curse be the man that trusts in man and maketh his flesh his arm in his strength and whose heart departed from the Lord. See, because when you move from love to hate, you're not with the Lord, you're with the, with hate. Jeremiah 17, 7 said, Blessed is the man that trusts in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is. All we're trying to say, and we're going to continue to do it, being speaking frankly, is Trust in the Lord. Trust in Him. Don't, don't, don't get wrapped up in, 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 in this world system that you don't understand the importance of eternal life. You know, my, my buddy sit there and like to sit there and say, how do you know? I got, the point is, you want to trust and do the things that equals eternal life, not eternal death. And you know good and well that killing people, beating people, hating people, being destructive toward people, being selfish toward other people, that's not going to end an eternal life. And if you believe that there is no eternal life, then then you you you're going to have to. That's something you're going to have to deal with. And I understand you deal with it. But I choose life from my faith. I respect your position. You not you don't want to receive Christ. I respect that. If you want to have a different uh, uh, type of belief system, I respect that. All I'm just telling you, for me, by faith, I believe in going the way, which is what Christ is pointing. I believe in teaching the way. I believe in pointing toward the way, toward Christ. That's that's, and if I'm going to point that way, have faith that way, I should live that way. And that's what I want you to make sure. And then this final scripture, closing out, this is all my kind of closing out type stuff, but for you with this live, uh, but it's the scriptures right here. Teaching the way is to teach to let Christ be Lord. And one of the foundation scriptures that we give for us people receiving salvation is Romans 10, verse 9 and 10. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, that's what we're trying to tell you. you, you as you say, you're a Christian, you're confessing that he's Lord. And if he's Lord, you do it his will, not your will. Not, you know good and where the discrimination and all that other stuff is not his will. You know hating and putting down and hurting or murdering other people is not his will. You know it is no justification for raping somebody, uh, committing adultery on somebody because you want to make them less than, because that yo, that's that's a man's will. That's not God's will. He said, if thou shalt believe in thy heart that God has raised him to the, from the dead, thou shalt be saved. I like the part of that power, the raising from the dead, the same power that can change me, not only me, but that same power can change the people that you got issues with. And you need to give that to him instead of trying to change it, change people based on your own actions and your own ability. For with the heart, verse 10, for with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That is for everyone. That's what John 3.16 is for. I mean, John 3.16 is talking about for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but of everlasting life. And this final one, that's why I'm saying that this, these teaching, these platforms, is for you. 
not to be deceived, but to understand the truth. Because in Matthew 7, 21, not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but who? But he that does the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Know his will. Know the fact is he said you to forgive one another. Know that he said that in John in Matthew 6, that he said if you 14, 15 said, for if you give men not their trespasses, neither your father will give your trespasses. Christ is telling you. But you're going to sit there and, and label a whole group of people, or you're going to label an individual. And you're going to sit there and condemn an individual. I'm just telling you is that if you can't forgive, then, then, then you forfeit it yourself. You chose to do it. Because you chose to be in fellowship with evil opposed to fellowship with God. He says in verse 22, Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in that name? In that name, cast out devil. In that name, the wonderful works. And then he will say, which I said early in the session, Matthew 7, 23, And then when I profess unto them, I never do you. Depart from me, ye that work is iniquity. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the study, the session we just went through. I've been breaking those sessions down. I have broken, broken those sessions down from A, B, C, D, or whatever it takes to finish them out. And then I just uh, post those on a daily basis throughout the week. And I will share those as much as possible to everybody uh, on Facebook and uh, on YouTube. And, you know, I will send some out to text. I normally try to send ones on text on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And tell you Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday uh, of the session that we had. So uh, I just hope you just captured the whole point here is that we need to be able to actually focus on the Word of God and practice the Word of God and stop fellowship with people that teach things that's contrary to the Word of God. Now, I tell you not to go and minister and go preach the gospel to, 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 the, to the world, but when you actually have people who profess to be Christians and then they try to teach things contrary to the scriptures, not contrary to your ministry, your denomination, uh, or whatever somebody else tells you, what you want to do as an individual is responsible for doing what the scriptures say. Be led by the Holy Spirit is all we want to be able to do emphasize in this teaching. You know, so uh, there's no, the title uh, as we gave here, and I'll show it again just to close out with it, the title, and I'll update the title in itself, but it says, what fellowship has Christ with Belial? Belial represents the devil. Or love or hate. What, what fellowship do those two have? They don't have any. Uh, and that's why you want to make sure that you don't demonstrate the things or the, 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 the tools and matters of the devil. You want to demonstrate the tools of Christ the love of Christ, the teaching of Christ. You know, I, I put in a song in there that say, yes, you know, you remember that old song, the Christian song, children's song that says, you know, yes, Jesus loves me uh, because the Bible tells me so. And I put it in there and saying is that, that that's an incomplete song. And I know it's a children's song. And I just encourage the people to add some other things to the song, such as, Yes, Jesus loves you. Yes, Jesus loves you, for the Bible tells me so. Yes, Jesus forgives you. Yes, I forgive you, because the Bible tells me so. You see what I'm saying? for us as believers, mature believers, is the fact is what does the Bible tell us so, right? And that's that's what I want you to remember that. And then also this scripture here that uh, I mentioned in the introduction, 
what I'm, I'm, I'm mentioning now is uh, in the closing, excuse me, is James 3.11. Does a fountain send forth at the same place sweet order and bitter? Verse 12, can a fig tree, my brother, bear olive berries, either a vine, fig, so can no fountain both yield salt water and fresh water. So when you got hate, everything else coming out of you, you ask yourself, how's that? If you're supposed to preach the gospel, which is good news, if you're supposed to operate in love, which is the doctrine of the gospel, but you're showing hate and you're showing discontent, you need to check yourself. And you got to sit there and say, I'm following the will of God or following the will of man or myself. I said, Father Christ. Amen. I bless you. I hope you enjoy the study. And then I hope you see the rest of these segments as we go along into it. Amen. God bless you. And I appreciate you listening. And I'll see you when I see you. <laughs> bye bye. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.